boy, you turn me inside out. Run around, run around. How's it going, guys? It's me, Food Man. Guys, it's been a while. My sincere apologies. It's been a while since I made my last frozen dinner review. So I'm very, very uh, hopeful that something good is coming our way today. So let's give it a try. We have to pronounce the magic word, words to make this work. Right, so we'll open the magic freezer. All right, so freezer. What we have for today? Sing, sing, something. Whoop. Pillsbury. <gasps> oh my God, Pillsbury. That sounds good. We're, we're having a good start. We're having a good comeback. So let's see. Oh my God. Ooh. Pizza Pops Old El Paso. It's taco flavor, beef and cheese. Check it out, guys. El Paso Pizza Pops. Taco, beef and cheese comes in four. This sounds good to me, man. I want to try this. So let's do, let's give it a try, guys. And I will let you know. If it works, your hard earned money. Stay tuned. Hi right, guys. All right, guys. Let's check on the nutritional content for the pizza pops. Old El Paso, check it out. Old El Paso, check it out. Taco flavor, beef and cheese. Oh my God, I love El Paso, guy. This is a brand that never get, never depreciate. The brand El Paso is something that get better every year. I've been eating El Paso food uh, since I was a kid. Never been disappointed. Always a great flavor. Awesome. All right, guys, this one brings four pops, four pizza pops, of taco, all right, beef and cheese. So, guys, uh, for two snack, uh, it's uh, 530 calories, fat 26 grams, carbs, carbohydrates 58, fibers to sugar 6, proteins 15, cholesterol 25 milligrams, potassium 880 milligrams, Potassium 225, calcium 150, iron 4, all right, and then it has enriched with flour, water, canola oil, cheddar cheese, cooked beef, sugars, maltodextrin, concentrated tomato paste, modifying coarse type spices, modified ingredient, baking soda, high, monos, high monosaturated vegetable oil, Natural flavor, sodium phosphate, santan gums, cellulose gum. So I mean, if we have santan gums, it have uh, it have the seasoning. All right, this extract, anato extract, good. I think it have a good good flavor because I can read on the ingredient they have some of the ingredients for the taco seasoning mix. So that's good. So you have three, you know, you have two options to do. This, it doesn't say they can do it in the in the air fryer, but I don't know. You guys want to give it a try? I don't know. But so far, in this one, it said oven. Use the oven. All right, use the oven, and you can use the microwave. You can use both. All right. So let's go ahead and warm it up in the microwave. I'm going to give them around two minutes. And then after that, we're gonna try it and let's see if it really tastes like taco, like beef and cheese. Let's see if it's true, all right? All right, guys, let's go ahead and give it a try. So I warm up. I don't know, this one, <laughs> this one grew up inside. The other one stay a little small. Well, let's go ahead and try the big one. All right. Check it out, all the taco seasoning mix with all that cheese, all, all that is coming out. Look at that. Everything is coming out. 
Oh, it smells like taco seasoning. That's it. Mmm. All right. I'm gonna eat it completely. Mmm. Wow. I think I have enough. I don't expect that flavor here. Mmm. I love this goofy stuff, man. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, 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 yes. The seasoning is very, very, very good. Yeah, El Paso, it has the seasoning. That, oh, yeah, I was right. The taco seasoning is, is just, it just tastes like El Paso. Yeah, they have a good seasoning, a good taco seasoning. The cheese is nice. The cheese with the, with the taco seasoning is nice. The beef flavor is nice, but the texture, what changed this from having an experience of a taco, it tastes more like a burrito. Yeah, it, it tastes, the texture that I have, like you're eating on a, instead of on, on, on a taco, you're eating on a beef and cheese burrito. So that's the only difference. I think it could be because of the crust. Because of the crust, you know, maybe the crust, I, I, I relay the crust right now with a flour tortilla from a burrito, you know, you don't get that crispy sensation that you get with a taco, but you do get the sensation of a beef and cheese burrito. So this is really, 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 really good because I love burrito. As a matter of fact, I like more burrito than taco. So I'm giving this from one to 10. I'm giving this a 10. I think. I'm giving them a thank. Thank you so much, uh, Pillsbury, for having this amazing product on the market. I truly, truly, truly recommend that you buy the old El Paso Pizza Pop. Give it a try. I get three, three different flavor for eight dollars on a rollback. So I won't think it won't even cost three dollars on Walmart right now. Give it a try. I really recommend it. Share your comment and talk with me. And guys, I upload videos every week, approximately from one to a video, if it's possible, maybe more in a week, all right? Basically, my channel is a food channel. So what will you see here most of the time is food channel. It's a food channel. You're gonna see food review. You're gonna see a snack review. You're gonna see frozen dinner review like today. All right, my personal blogs. And during the, on Sunday, everything goes. Right now, I don't have anything fixed for Sunday. It could be a reaction, a trailer reaction. It could be gaming. It could be impressions, impression. Anything could happen on Sunday. For now, I'm thinking of what am I gonna do on Sundays. But so far, my channel basically is based on food. So you share your thoughts and comment with me, guys. And I see you on my next video. Take care.